The American Cancer Society estimating a little bit more than 50,000 people will die from pancreatic cancer in 2024. Early detection is critical to increase survival of the disease. And here now to talk more about all of this, two people who are hoping to save lives. We love it. Barbara Foley from the Ron Foley Foundation and Chris Tyrrell, president of On Track Carding. Chris, last time I saw you, I was on the racetrack. You were. I'm a little bit more comfortable on the couch. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. What I think is so beautiful is you each are finding unique ways to raise awareness and money for pancreatic cancer. We will get to that in just a little minute in a moment. Barbara, Barbara, this was all for you, a family connection. You lost your husband. Tell us about Ron. Abs absolutely. Ron was a force of nature. Uh, he, he, uh, he was born in, he was, grew up in Massachusetts um, and uh, worked his way up to become CFO of Travelers, which was not an easy feat for somebody that was um, not in that arena. Um, but he, he just loved life. He um, made everything into a party. Uh, so he, he was diagnosed in 2004 with pancreatic cancer. We knew nothing about the disease. We were blindsided. Um, so after his death in 2005, and he fought it for a year, he was so tough. Um, we, I decided, I just wanted to raise awareness. It became my mission. It, I was angry at the disease. Um, I wanted to raise awareness so that other people would know the risks and symptoms. We could help other people that couldn't, that had to leave their jobs to take care of their spouse. So I had a, a small Kentucky Derby Day party in my backyard. And um, I invited all my neighbors and friends, Twisted Arms, and um, raised, uh, we had about 75 people, raised $19,000, and I donated it to can Pancreatic Cancer Research. Which is just wonderful. And we'll have more on that okay. event in just Amazing. a moment. Tell us about your father-in-law. I know you, you had a loss as well. Yeah, my father-in-law, he was diagnosed in 2017, passed away in 2021 amazing gentleman when he was diagnosed he was training for a half marathon so he's in great shape and like barbara said just blindsided nobody knew rarely anyone heard of pancreatic cancer truly or how devastating it is and how quickly the disease you know takes over so he just a great man loving uh, husband father grandchildren just you know it was, it was devastating to see it and we've talked, I lost my dad to this as well. Yeah. It comes on, treatment is tough. It's horrible. You folks are jumping right into this. I've been on your racetracks. What are you folks doing to raise a lot of money? So we're, we're, we have two dates next week. So at our uh, Wallingford facility on April 23rd, Tuesday, every dime that comes in the door, whether you're buying a drink, a burger, or uh, you know, you're racing, everything is getting donated to PanCan. And then on Thursday at our facility, at Foxwoods Resort and Casino, Monza, every single penny that comes in the door that day will be going to pancreatic cancer. And if you have not been to these racetracks, it is a blast. Your family will have a great time. Barbara, you are back with this wonderful tradition. Tell us about Ron's Run for the Roses. Ron's Run for the Roses is a Kentucky Derby Day celebration. It is going to be Saturday, May 4th at Farmington Polo Club. We have um, mint juleps. You'll, you'll feel, you don't have to go to Churchill Downs. Just Please come to the Farmington Polo Club. Min Juleps, uh, Dixieland Jazz, uh, auctions, live auctions, silent auctions, uh, great golf packages, uh, Martha's Vineyard a House for 12 um, in, in the live auction. Yeah. Um, just all kinds of wonderful things. And, it, and it's a really uplifting day. Uh, wear your hats. It's from 2.30 to 7.30, which is an interesting time for a fundraiser. But everybody yeah. comes dressed in derby day attire and um, just has a great time. It's so it's it, and it's two hundred dollars a ticket. Uh, we have still have tickets remaining. Okay. But if you do, uh, if you are thinking about coming, we we are expecting a sellout. So we, okay. you know, if you. It, We'd love to have you uh, go to our website. And, wonderful. Uh, we'll get that info on oh, our okay. website Thank as well. You. Yeah, good Sorry. stuff. Oh, a wildly wonderful and proven event. Good luck to you. That Your is. racetracks. I mean, you will have so much fun if you head that way as well. So whether you want to do a derby party yes. or head to the racetracks, let's raise some or good both. money. Yeah. Or both. Yeah, why exactly. not? Why not? I mean, come on. We don't cross schedule. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for all you do. We'll get the info on our website as well. Thank you.